Welcome to Apostolic Sermons TV. On this channel, you're going to be getting soul lifting messages, prayers that will help you grow and mature spiritually. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like the video you're about to watch, and comment also. Thank you and stay blessed. Then you will see that it takes five minutes to pick the mind of God. Five minutes. Just five minutes you can pick the mind of God. What is on the heart of God? If you have exercised yourself onto it, you, less than a minute you can pick what is on the mind of God. If you cannot access the mind of God, then you are like sheep without shepherd. And in your own life, God will not be a very present help. Because when you are in danger, you should be able to know what to do to access the mind of God. What, what do I do? You need to take a decision in the next 15 minutes. How can you break into that shelf? You know, we are too sophisticated. We know the train station. We know the bus station. We know the airport. But we don't know how to minister unto the Lord. So I came to teach us how to minister unto the Lord. The, if, if you begin the, pro, the, pro, the process of ministering unto the Lord, you are going to find discover several things on the path so i will show you the pathway and the things you are likely to find hallelujah so that when you find those things you will know okay yeah they said we'll find this kind of things here because as astronauts explore space we are called to explore god that's our calling hallelujah all right let's take a scripture quickly psalms 125 from verse 1 and 2 Sorry, not 125, but 25, Psalm 25. Let me give you the background of what I want to introduce us to. Don't ever forget this. I am insufficient. Don't ever forget that. Now, the psalmist says, Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Ministering before the Lord is an act of lifting up your soul. My God, I trust in thee. It involves reaffirming your confidence in the fact that though you are insufficient, God is all sufficient and I trust in you. You need to tell yourself again in order for your confidence to be strengthened. He said, let me not be ashamed. Because there is a possibility of shame in view of the fact that you are insufficient. There are therefore enemies that are mightier than yourself. There are situations that can swallow you up and throw you into confusion. Do you understand that? Oh, you don't know that. The pound is strong. The British pound is strong. So you have confidence in the pound. There are situations. Can you reduce the volume of my microphone a bit? There are situations that can throw you into confusion. It doesn't matter the securities that you have built around your life. Like I said, if the situation is orchestrated from the realm of the spirit, it can unbalance you, it can unsettle you. You can be in safety and security in one moment and in the next moment, a typhoon. Do you know what a typhoon is? Oh my, a landslide <laughs> can take down all your investment and that which was the ground upon which all of your properties were standing on vanishes and you are brought to ruin in a second. All of that possibility exists. So this man is going to his stronghold. You say, I, I know that my world can crumble in a moment. So you are going there to unveil your insufficiency, your fears, your shortcomings. And you are receiving a commitment of the all-sufficient God to undertake for you and to ensure that though a thousand fall by your right hand and ten thousand by your side, because you had secured the help of him that is the all-sufficient, 